are extremely positive for all. I think it can really be a win-win. It's just really a question of getting enough support for it and then and obviously finding funding for it. Um, and if there's not any more questions on that, I just I wanted to wrap up with, with a couple of things regarding funding. The top sheet uh, that I handed out to you with the uh, um, water sampling is a, a sheet that just goes to show uh, on sewer projects alone since the flood of 2009, 62% um, of our expenditures in sewer has gone to um, waste, uh, wastewater control, wastewater improvements and repairs. Where are you looking at? I don't all, the, all of these here, though, don't look the yours doesn't highlight that show up. Okay. But all the, I'm sorry. I, I don't know. That's right. But all the highlights are actual projects related to our Whitlacoochee wastewater treatment plant. We have two wastewater treatment plants. We have Mud Creek and Whitlacoochee. But we've also been doing an extensive repair of our manholes and sewer lines throughout the city. I mean, our sewer system is over 40 years old. Uh, in some places in our city, our sewer system is close to 100 years old. But that sounds as if that would have been ongoing maintenance anyway, rather than necessarily resulting from the flood. No, it's not. But uh, I, I merely provide that uh, to uh, contradict a lot of the stories that have been out there that we have been wasting taxpayer dollars that we've been receiving on quote pet projects when you know manholes are not pet. Uh, manholes is a pet project, and it's an interesting pet project. Uh, but just to show, we have been spending funds specifically to ad address those issues. Uh, more specifically, and I don't have this in printed form because I just received it this afternoon, uh, the city of Alasta has acquired over, since the original SPLOS 1 uh, started, we're now on SPLOS 6 and trying to get SPLOS 7 approved, we've received $167 million through the course of those six SPLOSs. Uh, to date, and of the $167 million, we spent $100 million on water and sewer. And then, uh